I got one point and it just restarts. Okay, so let the computer miss. Okay, I got two points. Okay, so that's how we can play this game. All right, let's create a new file here. Go to create new, or you can also go to file and choose new. Let's choose a standard size, and we're gonna create the objects that is required. I'm gonna start with a rectangle here. So I'm gonna create something like this. So this is going to be the player, or the controller, the controller by the user, okay? So I also need to make the same size, the same object, which is going to be a computer as well. So um, instead of just um, making it as a symbol, then making a copy that is going to create complications, I'm going to make a copy right now by pressing Alt key and clicking and dragging. You can also press Control C and Control V, or you can also use Control D to duplicate. So all those things will work. So let me keep this guy in the right side. Now keep in mind, I have not made the symbols yet. Okay, so I'm just gonna keep this here. I'm gonna keep this one here all right and we also want to create the uh, oval shape which is going to be for the ball all right so let me just double click here now if you don't know how I got this arrow key just without selecting the um, selection tool that's by pressing the control key so whenever you're in another tool you can quickly press control key that will move to the selection tool without going here and selecting the selection tool. So I'm gonna change this color to red, okay, just for a little attraction, okay? And I can even make the stroke color to be red. All right, I'm gonna convert this into a symbol by right-clicking and choosing Convert a Symbol, and this is going to be called as Ball. And it's a movie clip, I'm gonna click OK. And I'll do the same thing for these guys. Now keep in mind, if you just select it's actually going to select only the fill color. So what we need to do is double click to select the entire object. I'm gonna right click now, convert a symbol. This is going to be the player. I'll hit OK and double click here, right click, convert a symbol, and this is going to be computer, okay? So these names are not important. The instance name that we give and the linkage name that we give here are going to be important. All right, so let's give the linkage names first. I'll go to the library here, okay? So ball is going to be called as ball mc, okay? All small letters. And this is going to be called as computer mc, all small letters. And this is going to be called as player MC okay all small letters again now in terms of the instance name now I'm giving these names based on the action script that is already written so if you want to change these names then based on whatever change that you're doing you need to do the same change in the action script okay so let's not mess up with the action script and leave the action script as it is and we can give the same exact names here so I'll say computer here computer and this is going to be player and this is going to be ball okay and now we need to create two text boxes okay so I'm gonna take the text tool and with the text tool we want to make sure that we have a dynamic text here I'm gonna create a couple of text boxes so one is going to be here and another one I can actually duplicate this keep this over here this up and we can actually make this font to be used a default font okay so use device font so we won't have any font issues I'm going to duplicate this and move this over to the left side so this is going to be player score and this is going to be the um, computer score so let me just keep it over here this over here all right so now let's give the instance name for these guys as well. This is going to be um, TXT Computer. Not sure if the spelling is the same. Let's check that out. TXT Player. P is capital for the player, I guess. Now, one last thing that we have to do before we finalize it 
And um, we need to have an external action script. So here I can, you can see that we have a folder called ping pong. And inside that I have a action script file that is called main.as. Okay. We need to link this file to this file and we want to save this file in the same location. So I'll go to file here and choose save. And this is going to be saved in the same exact location. I'm going to call this as pong. Hit save here. All right. And now I need to link the action script to this file. Okay. So to link it, we have to go to the publish settings. If you don't find this, maybe if you have a different version of Adobe Animate or Flash, you can actually go to file and choose publish settings. Okay. So this is the same thing as what you see here. Okay. So publish settings, you can click on this more settings or you can go to publish settings and click on this guy. So that's going to open up the publish settings here. Okay, so in the settings, we have a target here, play, flash player, and then we have a space for a script, which says that we are using action script three, and we want to actually connect an external file here. So in order to do this, we need to click on this little spanner button for settings. Okay, so for tweaking things. Okay, so here we have document class, and this is where we're going to write the name of the external action script. Okay, so that's going to be called as um, main. M A I N. Okay. So M has to be capital because M is capital here. Okay. So main.as. So let's just write main here and hit the tick symbol just to verify, validate. And it says that the definition um, for this class was found at this location. Yes. That's good. Let's hit OK. And we're going to hit OK here as well. And OK here as well. Okay. So now let's just make sure that it works. Press Control enter and it shows some little compilation errors that's okay let's hit that and you can see that we have three score that's already for computer let's just work on this okay so i'm gonna uh yes hit there okay so i got one point and it just restarts okay so let the computer miss okay i got two points okay so that's how we can play this game all right, so just like all the time, um, you will find the link to the file and the action script in the description. So you can just download that and create your own design. You can change the design of the player control. You can change the design of the ball. You can change the design of the background and do whatever you like. You can add sound and things like that. Okay, so thanks for watching. Have a great day.